Welcome to the video tutorial on environment variables. So what is a computing environment? It is the platform constituting an operating system with a processor where a user can run programs. This brings us to what is a variable. In computer science, a variable is a location for storing a value which can be a file name, text, number or any other data. It is usually referred to with its symbolic name which is given to it while creation. The value thus stored can be displayed, deleted, edited and resaved. Variables play an important role in computer programming because they enable programmers to write flexible programs. As they are related to the operating systems that we work on, it is important to know some of them and how we can influence them. So what are environment variables? Well, they are the dynamic values which affect the processes or programs on a computer. They exist in every operating system and their types may vary. They can be created, edited, saved and deleted. They also give information about the system behavior and they change the way software or programs behave. For example, the LANG environment variable stores the value of the language that the user understands. This value is read by an application such that a Chinese user is shown a Mandarin interface while an American user is shown an English interface. These are some of the common environment variables. We'll go through them once we know how to access variables. In order to determine the value of a variable, you need to use this command. It is echo space the dollar sign then the variable name. Now we'll use some common environment variables. Starting with echo path variable. This variable contains a colon separated list of directories in which your system looks for executable files. When you enter a command on terminal, the shell looks for the command in different directories mentioned in the path variable. If the command is found, it executes. Otherwise, it returns with an error command not found. Variables are case sensitive. Make sure that you type the variable name in the right letter case, otherwise you may not get the desired results. So if we type in the path variable this way, we will not receive a result. Moving on to another environment variable, the user environment variable gives us the name of the user. Trying out the home environment variable would give us the default path to the user's home directory. The env command displays all the environment variables. You can create your own user defined variable with syntax variable name is equal to the variable value. Again, bear in mind that variables are case sensitive and usually they are created in the upper case. So let us make a new variable with this value. Now for checking the value of the newly created variable, you would have to type in this command. Make sure you do not leave space between the variable name and the equal to sign, otherwise you will get an error. And do not miss out on the dollar sign when you are checking the value of a variable. If you press the enter key without the dollar sign, the echo command would take the variable name as a string instead of a variable. Moving on to deleting variables, the following syntax can be used to remove a variable from the system. It says unset space the variable name. Let us try it on terminal. So now if we want to remove the new variable and its value that we created earlier, we would have to type in this on the terminal. Now if we run the echo command followed by the new variable, we would not get a result. The unset command removes the value of a variable permanently. Let us do a quick recap. Environment variables govern behavior of programs in your operating system. Let us also go through the commands that we have learned. The echo variable command is used to display value of a variable. The env command displays all environment variables. The variable name is equal to variable value command creates a new variable. Unset followed by the variable name removes a variable from the system. Export variable is equal to value 
is used to set value of an environment variable. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next one.